guys, I haven't done a Rachelanius video in like forever. Let's talk about TV. What are my favorite shows and what are the shows that I'm not really into? It's right off the bat, my favorite show ever is Firefly. There's never been a show like it that just got me so invested in the characters and the story and I just adored it. And I'm not a Joss Whedon fangirl. Angel and Buffy, sorry guys, but those shows sucked. And Dollhouse, oh, that show, it was awful. So yeah, I'm just not one of those girls that rips her panties off every time someone mentions Joss Whedon. But sadly, Firefly's not on anymore, and now I'm not one of the people that want to sign a petition to get it back on TV. It was amazing, and I think having it ended while it was like getting to its peak helped it. I didn't want it to be one of those shows that got run down and just ended up being a former shell of how awesome it used to be. So let's move on to shows that are on TV that I like. I really like The Office, which is weird because The Office isn't what it used to be. Jim's a serious tight ass. Pam's a raging bitch. It's weird not having Michael on. The show's become more pathetic humor than just silly dorky humor, which I miss. But I still watch it. Been watching it since season one, so I can't really see myself ditching it. I've thought about it, but it still, it still entertains me at times. <laughs> Another show on TV that everybody's been talking about, of course, is Game of Thrones. I have not read the Game of Thrones books, comic books, graphic novels, whatever the hell you want to call them. And I did not see season one. So maybe I've already doomed myself to hate it. I'm finally starting to get into season two. I'm starting to learn who's what and why they're important. And I don't know, still, it's just a little too epic for me. It's like, the king of the north has slain my son, blah, blah, blah. Just talk normal. I know that's part of the charm, is they're talking all crazy, but I can't follow a lot of that. <laughs> I can't even follow it when I'm playing an RPG. So it's a little difficult, but I do like the boobies in it, and I like the violence, so I watch it mainly for that. My favorite characters in Game of Thrones is probably the little douchebag king, just because that's usually when the show gets good. Whenever he's on, you know there's gonna be some crazy stuff going on. So I don't actually like his character, I just like when he's on. And his um, little chickadee wife chick, or wife-to-be chick, she's cute. I just want to hold her and tell her that everything's going to be okay. Another popular show that you guys talk about a lot, and it's on hiatus right now, is The Walking Dead. As you know, big fan of the comics. Big fan of the game. Not a fan of the show. The first season, of course, it had the first two episodes were amazing, but every now and then, the show has a really good episode, but then I have to sit through like four sucky episodes. That doesn't make a good show. Good show means it might have one off episode, but the rest are good. So, I don't know. I, I have to finish it because I've been watching it since the beginning and I do, you know, love the book, graphic novel, comic book again. Who cares what it's called? <laughs> but I still, I said stick with it, but that doesn't mean I like it. The show usually pisses me off. I have to sit through 45 minutes of suck to get 10 minutes of cool. Again, that doesn't make a good show. Probably my favorite show that's on now, well, it's actually on hiatus as well, but it's current, is American Horror Story. That show is so effed up at times. It's just awesome. It doesn't ride any safety line. It just goes balls to the wall the whole time. It doesn't try to be something it's not. And um, it's got gore. It's got sex. It's just, I love it. And every episode, there's something new and something cool going on. That's a good show. If you haven't ever seen American Horror Story, it's on FX. Again, it's on hiatus right now, but you can go watch the past episodes. The new ones start, I think, in October. I might be wrong. It's, gonna, it's an awesome show. Definitely check it out. Other shows in the past that I liked was Lost. That was another one that I really, really liked for the first several seasons, and then it kind of tapered off and... I don't know what it became. It just became not as good, but I had to finish it because I had been with it since the beginning. And that's what I didn't want Firefly to become, so I'm kind of glad that, you know, Firefly is dead and gone because then I can rewatch the episodes. I've watched Firefly back to back so many times. I can quote that show. It's such a good show. Again, if you haven't ever seen Firefly, just go buy it. Don't even rent it. Don't look for it on Netflix. Just go buy it because you'll thank me later. Another one that I like is Dexter. I definitely prefer season one Dexter. He was just a lot darker, more secure with himself that he was a killer. He didn't feel sad to be a killer. And now they've made him this dad that doesn't want to be a killer. And 
it's just not as fun as it used to be. But the way this last season ended, oh, I'm excited to see how they, they do this new season. It's going to change the whole dynamic. I'm not going to ruin anything for you. But that's another show I'm into. Some other weird shows I like are, like, My Strange Addiction and My Strange Obsession. People that eat weird stuff, like this woman that was addicted to eating cat food. This woman that was addicted to sniffing baby powder. Um, that's just stuff is just awesome because those are some pretty messed up people. So, that's fun, as always. What else? I'm not into reality shows. No. I'm not into girl talk shows, kind of like Sex and the City, Friends, that kind of stuff. No. And if it needs a laugh track, I instantly hate it. Well, those are the shows that I like and don't like. Um, I probably missed a few here or there, but you get the main idea of what I'm into and what I'm not into. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I totally love ya.